Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 9th tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see properties and binding with the example of logging form validation. Before that I will tell you that there are two types of properties. One is read or writable and second one is read only. So let's start with example so you will be clear with the properties now create a new javafx application i will give a name as a login form validation so create application class and finish So this will generate some default program as well, as always. So in this tutorial we are going to create a user class for login form validation, login form page. So go to the project, then on login form validation, create a new class new java class I will name it as a user then again package login form validation and finish so here is our new cl user class now, now I am going to add some properties and password and user field in the class so before that I will add one import so I am going to add import java fx dot beans dot property so and a string simple as strict means all so javafx beans property all the properties in the bean property so next I'm going to add some properties first of all private final static with username underscore property pop underscore name equals to in the string format right user name and semicolon next add a wrapper property read only a string wrapper property for username so private final add read only string wrapper Sign user name then add one more private final static string password property name so static string password property name so password property underscore name then 
add a password string so password semicolon so this error is because of we have not initialized any username in our login form validation so it will overcome after the initialization of login form validation so we are going to add new private string property password again private string that is password now next add constructor for a user so public such so that the the user the errors will go on so user now add username so username equals to new read only string wrapper in the bracket for this class I'm going to add this username so I will copy this it here comma add system dot get property for a username so this will add your system username that is your your system admin name or you if you have any username for the your PC or laptop so system dot get property add user dot name so this will copy your username of the system and this is in in the string format so add it in a double inverted comma and semicolon next is password field so password is equals to new simple string wrapper So this simple string for property and this add this comma the password property name paste it and the password you are going to give in the login form validation page so semicolon then let's see what is this so this is going this is because it's not assigning a value so we are going to create a class to a another inner classes to assign that values to the 
so we are going to add a public final string get username so my final string get user name and return the username property read only string property for a username such that it will verify the username and so public read only string property so string property user Username property and add return against a username property. So return username dot get read only property and semicolon. Now next add a password property so so it will get the password check the pa and set the password with the username check validate the password and return if it is correct so initially add a public final string get password and return to a password field where we have assigned so password dot next check the password that is set the password now public get these are the getter and setter methods so public final void set password and pass a string of password to this class dot password dot set password now next string property for a password property that will return the password if it is so public it's a string property password property and return password
so we are done with the user class and these errors are because of error property and so this you must be capital so hence save this this is the user class for login form validation this will import the user name of your system and pass to the login form validation and then this login form validation page pass the password field to the user then user check the username and password field and pass to the again login form validation it checks the username and password if password is correct then the next procedure is done so we are going to see this login form validation page how to write that in the next tutorial if if you have any questions about the this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on alapureram@gmail.com and finally if you really liked my work please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video and bye